If there is a day I look forward to, it's Wednesday when we capture events and happenings in Carinan Entertainment and we bring you on board. Painting them vividly so that the most beautiful entertainment images can last in your minds forever. My name is Mary Stash and this is Inside Hollywood. But before we go ahead with the show, a word from our friends at the Clang Rose Film Festival. Calling all filmmakers. Please join us for the Clang Rose Film Festival. With many categories to choose from, such as personal growth, inspirational stories, comedy, music, and wedding videos, there's something for everyone. Early birds. Don't forget to submit by September 3rd, 2023 for a discounted price. Our awards and dinner will be January 27th, 2024 at the Chateau Grande Hotel. We'll see you there. Before we talk about a remarkable movie this week, let's first go ahead and talk about some good news for the Cameroonian film industry. Cameroonian top movie director, producer and writer Anna John Scott is currently enjoying the benefits of his remarkable contributions to the writing community as he has been selected to represent Cameroon at the prestigious international writing program among thousands of submissions funded by the U.S. Department of State. This, however, comes with more responsibilities as the initiative is aimed at promoting literary excellence. This is a great deal for movie makers who will want to improve in their skills as director John Scott shared on the Iconic Moments platform last Sunday that he will be organizing a lot of workshops and master classes for Cameroon and movie makers upon his return. He equally mentioned that his participation will give him the opportunity to network with the best movie makers around the world. Last week was very busy for the genius movie maker as he was on media tours in Yaoundé and most importantly had audience with the Minister of Art and Culture. The event was graced by the Deputy Cultural Affairs Officer at the U.S. Embassy, the Director of Cinematography and Audiovisual Productions at the Ministry of Art and Culture, some dignitaries from the U.S. Embassy and top movie makers from the Cameroonian film industry. Indeed, great people deserve great things, and Energy and Scott is one of such. We wish you the best, and we look forward to even greater impacts on the Cameroonian entertainment industry. Today, we highlight a movie starring the best child actress of all times in Cameroonian cinema, written by Teddy Esime. This Takong Delvis film stars her screen highness, Faith Fidel, Buga Samson, Love Tambe, and Art Anurid. The movie has a very captivating storyline of a young girl trapped in between helping her wayward father and pursuing a normal life like her peers. It captures the mind of a child faced with a situation that deprives her of her basic rights to education, love, and care, exposing such ills like gambling and drunkenness. Spiced with the ever-brilliant performance of Faith Fidel, movie lovers can find this movie on Prime Videos, Google TV, and Platinum VOD. Where I Come From is a multiple award-winning movie with trophies for the Best Screenwriter and Best Feature Film Narrative Long at the American Golden Pictures Entertainment Film Festival, Best Actress Outstanding Achievement Awards, and Best Educational Film at the Tagore International Film Festival. The movie also backed multiple nominations at the African Movie Academy Awards. In cinematography and other forms of visual art, people fit their soul with their eyes. And so what the celebrity wears plays a very important role in entertaining the audience, helping them capture the moments and keeping lasting memories of such encounters. Unfortunately, the role of those who put every stitch and fabric together beautifully for these stars is often neglected. And today, we appreciate them as we take a countdown for top celebrity designers in Cameroon. On the fourth position, we have SM Class. This highly esteemed fashion brand says they transform not only the fabric, just the rest. And yes, SM Class has glamped so many icons both in and out of the country, like Po Elonge, Dokas, Roy Mama, including Ike Obona's iconic look at the famous Puva premiere, responsible for one of Delhi Singer's most memorable looks during her famous visit to Cameroon. And on the third position, we have Shasha Design, owned by the classy Blessing Bank Awu Hills from Bafut in Northwest region. Shasha earns the reputation for revalorizing the traditional Togo regalia. This brand is capable of transforming traditional fabrics into extremely luxurious costumes for traditional bridas, red carpet, and particularly the rich auntie wear. Celebrities like Stephanie Tum and Cindy Yemade have rocked Shasha designs countless times. And on the second position, we have Starmie Diamond, a sensational fashion brand that has relentlessly worked on branding our celebrities and showing us another side of them. The transforming power of their outfit is a wonder to fashion lovers. From dressing Kobolistic Kobo to Mama Atalaku, the Roy Mama, and Yakibella, 
Stymie Diamond has established that every human being can be stunning with the right outfit. Stymie Diamond dressed Stephanie Tum during the last Cameroonian Entertainment Film Festival and Cindy Amade during the premiere of the movie Kuva. And on the first position, we have a pair. Two fashion houses occupy this position. Sulet Noir by Young Ebony Goddess Kapu Sulet and Walk to Paris by Sawali Noir. Both are esteemed fashion brands that rose to more prominence with their collaboration Kata 3 collection project with the objective of bringing vintage avant-garde high fashion to Africa. The two brands did come together and transformed a bike rider into a world-class model. It was a beautiful project that made ways in and out of Cameroon. The grass to gray story, the glamour, and the creativity in that project was nothing to ignore. Both brands have since then gone ahead to style some of our favorite celebrities, the likes of Rini, Karo and Kopis, Deli Singer, Kosi, and a host of others. It's another good piece of news for content creators and social media influencers as CY International, who is known for his 8020 campaign that is geared towards valorizing local content has been made brand ambassador of ICT University. He follows after Delhi Singer and a host of others. Congratulations to you, sir. We see your good work and please keep on with that. And before we leave you, we have the pleasure to let you know that one of the most prestigious of beauty platforms, Miss Africa Golden Cameroon will be crowning their golden queen on the 2nd of September at the St. Clair Hotel in Boya. She will go on to represent our beautiful country Cameroon at the Miss Africa Golden Competition in South Africa, just like her predecessor, Miss Panka Jinola, did brilliantly in 2022 in Nigeria. Grab your tickets now by contacting the numbers on your screen. Spaces are limited, so reserve early. Lastly, we'd like to particularly appreciate our top fans for the week, Fortune Larry and Lady Blink. Your efforts are not unnoticed. We thank you all for staying glued, for supporting us, for commenting, for subscribing, for sharing our works, and we love you back to back. If you are a wedding filmmaker, then this is for you. The Clong Rose International Film Festival from the US of A is also accepting wedding films. So if you are a wedding filmmaker, then you are eligible and you just I grab you an award. If you want to register, not only for wedding films, but any other category of entertainment, do contact the Hollywood team and we will give you directives on how to go about it. And this is where we draw the curtains for this week's show from me and the entire Hollywood team. We say bye.